ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to discuss K. Ali Vanilla Royale Sugared Patchouli 64. This was a blind buy, so I'm a little excited, I'm a little scared, and I want to share this with you. Let's go. All right, y'all, we are going to go ahead and open this perfume. I bought this perfume as a gift to myself in November, and I still, with my hoarding behind, have not opened it. So K. Ali is a fragrance that the girls were going crazy about over the holiday season. And I caught wind of this because my daughter actually mentioned to me, hey, there's a fragrance out, K. Ali, have you heard of it? I had not. However, one late night, looking around on the internet, I bump into this fragrance without even realizing that's the one my daughter was talking about. I watched all the ads, I listened to all the reviews, I saw all the girls, and I purchased. I purchased. I literally did a blind buy. Not necessarily something that's recommended, especially when it comes to expensive perfumes. So we're about to find out if I played myself or if this was a really, really good idea. All right, let's do this, y'all. The bottle is very pretty. I love the gold. I love the reflection. Does it come out more? Okay, this comes out. Very pretty. I don't believe I got the largest size. I think this was the mid size. Okay, I waited long enough. Let me smell this. Okay, I'm expecting a burst of vanilla. Um, it says that this has vanilla sura, vanilla sur absolute. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Golden rum, cream brulee, brown sugar, royal oud, and sugared patchouli. That sounds so sweet. Like for real. I'm supposed to smell like a whole snack after I spray this. The expectations are high. Please smell good. Please smell good. You guys, oh. MG, she smells amazing. I can smell what I believe is the golden rum. Mm -hmm. I can smell what I believe is the brown sugar. I've never heard of sugared patchouli. What comes to mind is almost molasses mixed with rum and sugar and all that good stuff. I'm gonna spray my other wrist. And I'm gonna spray my neck. And we will see how this wears for the rest of the night. And I'll wait till my daughter comes in to see if she smells me, cause she'll probably be the first to notice. But yes, this was fun, a little different, but this was K. Ali Vanilla Royale, a blind buy. And I'm pleased that I bought her. She's a grown and sexy fragrance. It'll be a little bit of wearing, 
kind of see how she works with my chemistry before I truly know if this is actually for me. But first impression was a great one. I'm not sure how she, how she compares to my favorite perfume, which is Alien by Mugler. That's a very grown and sexy fragrance also, but I'm really pleased that I got her for my collection, which is a very small collection and it will remain a small collection, but I'm not mad about this one. Now they did send me samples in the package, which I'm pleased about. I wasn't too fond of the samples. I don't have them next to me, so I'm not sure what the fragrances were, um, but as of now, the star of the show is a keeper. And I do want to thank y'all for checking out my video and checking out my first sniff in this blind buy. I don't think I'm going to be doing too many blind buys. It's too nerve wracking and it could be a waste of money. So yeah, I probably won't be doing too many blind buys, but this one was fun. Thank y'all for coming and watching. What fragrances are you rocking right now? Are you into Kali? And if so, what fragrance is your favorite from their line? I'm about to go see what this perfume can do. And I'll be wearing this over the course of the next few days so I'll get a real genuine taste of it. Other than that, you know what time it is. It's time to say peace and love, bag baby. Be amazing. Bye for now. It's really the sugared patchouli for me. Have y'all checked out K.L.E. Vanilla Royale? <laughs> yes, please.